Welcome or welcome back on uh, C Square. On this uh, video clips, we're going to talk about um, absolute value graphs. We're going to start with the parent graph, uh, absolute value of x, and then we're going to see that graph can be moved up, down, left, right. Uh, we're going to change the shape, make it skinnier, like I like to call, or fat in all this uh, slideshow. So first of all, uh, like I said, OpenGeoGebra, as you see the website right here. Then you see uh, is a graphing calculator in this area. Mine is already uh, blue. Click on it. And you get uh, this uh, GeoGebra graphing calculator. Uh, you can type in equation right here. You have a keyboard right there. Uh, you can use the function on the keyboard if you want uh, to type in a different function. This is one. This one I said here is the absolute value by have square root of x and so on. What I want you to type in is uh, f of x equals absolute value of x, which is right here. Why you see the way I put it in is just by simply uh, typing in f parentheses x close the parentheses equal a b s parentheses x and close the parentheses and you're going to get what you see up there and obviously after you type in this uh, equation you're going to get this uh, wonderful green graph this is it's called a parent graph of all the absolute value graphs in other words all the absolute graphs are related somehow to this parent graph uh, what we can say about this uh, graph well it has a v-shape right uh, in this case, uh, we have a very important point, which is this uh, one right here, 0 and 0, is the vertex, how we call it, is the point where the graph turns. You see, goes down here, goes back up. Now, so we can really see here something that uh, you know from linear equation. This slope is negative 1 for this uh, ray, but uh, then it's changing here and the slope becomes positive 1. Uh, going up and here obviously going down. Uh, now, as you see here, I have another equation. That's the way you type it in. Absolute value of x minus 1. Okay. Uh, discuss. See, take a look. See how the graph looks like. Uh, discuss important points. Uh, and the very important uh, for us. Uh, did it move, this graph? I'm going to let you a little bit. Don't forget, you can pause this GeoGebra. Uh, this uh, video clip and uh, think about. Yeah, um, if you came with this graph, uh, the this one here, kind of uh, reddish. Uh, yeah, that is the absolute value of x minus one, and you notice that graph move down one unit. Uh, the shape is the same, uh, now we have kind of three important points, we have this vertex, right, if you remember, the graph goes down here, and then goes back up, this is what we call the vertex, but we have also these two uh, x-intercepts, right, this is the y-intercept, okay. My question to you is now based on uh, this uh, experience of absolute value of x minus one which move the graph down what do you think will be the equation that will move uh, the original graph f of x equals absolute value of x two units five or ten units down write those equations down again you can pause the video clip uh, play with the geogebra and see how that works If you have this uh, equation, absolute value of x minus 1, that will move the original graph 1 unit down. Absolute value of x minus 2 is going to move the green one 2 units two units down. This one, this one is absolute value of x minus 5, 5 units down. And this one, you can see just uh, part of it, is absolute value of x minus 10, which... I don't have the function notation here. Uh, but you see all of them are, sim are the same of the absolute value of x, the same shape. 
the only difference they are moved down obviously that will bring uh, two intercepts for all the other graphs uh, the y-intercept which is the vertex is uh, uh, moving down based on the number you see on the left now I want you to clear this equation how you do that here on the left side you have these um, buttons you right click and one of the choices is delete uh, click uh, delete choice and you're gonna delete those graphs and I want you to try to uh, move uh, the green graph remember the original this one I want you to move it one two five and ten units up write those equation again pause the video clip and try it and then we'll talk about Yeah, 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 there you go. If you have this equation, absolute value of x plus 1, this one, right? You see it, the graph move up 1 unit. Plus 2, 2 units, plus 5, 5 units, and the last one, plus 10, obviously cannot be seen here, it's up there. Now, let's clear this equation, if you remember right here. We right-click, find the delete choice and clear it and now i want you to try to move uh, the original graph this one the absolute value of x right i want you to try to move it one two five and ten units left if you move in a different direction you know what write that equation down maybe you're gonna need it later oh there you go these are the equation that will move the graph left now you see the addition of numbers happens inside of the absolute value brackets, absolute value signs, bars. Uh, if you add inside of those absolute value signs, then the graph move left. The same shape as you notice. Uh, and again, uh, we may we may see we have an x intercept which is uh, most of the time the vertex, right? I mean, all, always the vertex in these cases. Uh, and we have y intercepts, only one. Uh, clear this uh, equation, if you remember from here, uh, and then try to move the original graph, the green one, one, two, five, ten units, right. Pass this video clip and try it. There you go, this is the way you move the graph of absolute value of x, right, by subtracting. This one is going to move 1 unit, 2 units, 5 units, 10 units, to the right. Okay, uh, similar with the others. Um, the previous uh, four graphs we see we have these vertices, the x intercept, and we have y, a y intercept for each graph. So now uh, let's try to do a uh, combination of transformation I want you to try to move the original graph the green one right two units left four units up so that will be one equation three units right and five units down that will be another equation uh, pause the video clip try on GeoGebra and we'll I will see you right back If you have this equation, like I said, you rock. Yeah, this one is going to move the graph two units left, four units up, three units right, five units down. And you see the colors here. 
these are called rigid transformation all the transformation we talk about here are rigid transformation they do not change the shape of absolute value of x uh, there are two more transformation that don't change the shape of absolute value of x that we'll discuss uh, later but now i want to talk about non-rigid transformation in other words transformation that will change the shape of absolute value of x and there are two of them if you remember at the beginning of the video, video clip i said there is a way to make this pattern graph the absolute value skinny or fat and we'll see what name we're going to use for skinny and fat okay this is the way we do to make the graph skinny we put a number larger than one in front and you see the blue one it's skinnier than the green one this is how we call a vertical stretch and the next one is going to be a vertical compress graph graph there you go you see the number here is less than one greater than zero in this case is one over two but it can be a decimal uh, for sure the number has to be uh, less than one and we get what we call a vertical compressed graph okay or a fat one so now um, the last uh, uh, problem of this presentation for for you guys to try is to sketch the graph of uh, y equals f of x equals it's the same thing three times the quantity absolute value of x minus two plus four think about all those transformations we discussed about so far they all are here in this equation if you came with something like that that's wonderful you can see uh, two units right three units up and uh, now let me put the absolute value of x for you and then you see this one is skinnier right and this uh, easy way to to kind of uh, do that uh, uh, graph is by looking to this tree and you can count three up one to the right for doing the right side of the, the graph three up one to the left for doing the left side of the graph if you enjoyed the video clips come back on uh, c square don't forget the like button down on the right thank you and have a great day